What's up my friends? My name is Ryan Van Duzer. Welcome to my channel. And this is episode two of our journey riding canal paths from New Jersey into Pennsylvania. In the previous episode, we took a train from New York City to New Brunswick, New Jersey. And that is when we started riding along these beautiful canal paths all the way to Frenchtown, which is about 70 miles. In this episode, we go from Frenchtown, get on that beautiful canal path along the Delaware River. We go to Jim Thorpe for a night, and then we head a little bit further into Wilkes Bar, Pennsylvania, and finally end up at the Priority Warehouse in Montgomery, Pennsylvania. And I finally get to meet my friends at the warehouse who I've only been in contact through email. It was fun to meet them, and it was fun to see just stacks and stacks of all the Priority bicycles. This adventure was about fun and team building and just camaraderie, but it was also a chance for a lot of us to try out the brand new Priority Gemini, which is their super cool gravel bike. I will have a review about that bike here soon. The bike I was riding was titanium, the titanium version. I'd never ridden a titanium bike in my life. It was pretty sweet. And of course it has that push button electronic shifting. I hope you enjoy this episode. There's a lot of beauty and I'm not talking about the hiking Vikings face. <laughs> Buenos dias. We rolled into camp last night pretty much in the dark and put up everything in the dark, but that's okay because we were with a big, happy, jolly group and we stayed up kind of late just chatting around a virtual campfire. <laughs> you know, it's been, it's been a while since I've been on a bikepacking trip and it feels good to be back out and back out with good people and good friends and ah, kind of reinvigorates my love for this sport. Is this a sport? I don't know what it is. A community? A, a hobby? <laughs> Buenos dias, Connor. What's up, buddy? How are you? I'm doing great. How about you? I'm great. Um, the uh, temperature was perfect. There's no dew, so not, not having your rain fly covered in dew in the morning is delightful. So, and you look so cozy in your hood. Yeah, I definitely, cozy's a key. Actually, if I could not ride and just sit like this and watch TV all day, I think I'd probably prefer it, but <laughs> we still have 75 miles today to Jim Thorpe. Oh, somebody's feet have emerged. Look at them, happy feet. <laughs> Good morning, Eddie, how was the hammock? Oh, the hammock's the best. Is it? Slept like a baby. I've never done that. It's so nice, it just, it holds you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And I have just noticed your socks. Oh, yeah. They aren't just any socks. That's right. They're the Olay socks. Those are good luck socks, you know, man. Yeah, that's why my feet are so happy. <laughs> they always tell you not to wake a sleeping Jabba, but it is time. Hey, buddy. <laughs> you look so cozy and cuddly in there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm naked for the waist down. Oh. This guy right here is Nelson. How you doing, buddy? Morning. And if somebody calls priority and needs help with their bike, you're the guy, right? I'm one of the guys, yes. You're one of the guys. Yes. So this, he will talk you through any problem and help you fix your bike. Yes. Lead mechanic. Yes. Your man. Uh, What's a fun fact about Nelson? Fun fact about me, geez. Uh, oh, you're into jujitsu. <laughs> yes, I do uh, Brazilian jujitsu. I've been doing it for three years now. Right. There's my man, Mohanad. How was your yeah, first night high. camping? It was good. You sleep I all right? Uh, no. <laughs> but I don't feel like I want to sleep, which is, I think, good. I didn't know how many hours I did sleep, but maybe three, five. If it is five, it's good enough. All right. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully We're today will go well like yesterday. Nice, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm impressed with you. This is a big deal to go ride oh, these yeah, miles yeah, and camp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's, uh, I just to make it by kilometer, so I did a century in kilometer yesterday. Good job, man. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Um, DNR trail, day two. Uh, More DNR? I think it's DNR until halfway through day three. Nice. Yeah, look at this. Full filming, trail. filming, back and forth. Dun -da -da -da. <laughs> All right, here we go. 
Happy Thursday. Looking good. Let's go have a good one. There's my people. Yeah. Ow, ow. Yeah. All right, here we go. Day two. It's beautiful. No chance of rain. Perfect temperatures. Perfect group of friends. It's gonna be awesome. No flatties, no crashes, no whammies. <laughs> Woo! Oh, this area is stunning. I'm loving your state, Java. Yep. Oh, check this out, a covered bridge. Very cool. Ole! Happy Thursday, happy, happy Thursday. Happy Thursday, happy, happy, hey! <laughs> I love my dorky songs. You might not, but I love them. They make me happy. They make me so happy. <laughs> Look at that crew. We got Nelson. You're... We got Eddie right here. Yeah. yeah. We got Will right here. Whoop, whoop. to the town of Easton right now, which is the home of Crayola Crayons. Do you remember that little video that played on Sesame Street back in the day of crayons and the crayon factory? I was mesmerized by that video. In my world back in the 80s, that was like a viral video. <laughs> oh yeah, look what we found. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Nice job. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, good job. Yeah, Daryl, what's up? <laughs> that was nice. What's up, everybody? Oh. Yeah. Okay. We found some pavement here outside of Easton, and we're cruising. I just met the coolest kids in Bethlehem. They're gonna do some wheelies hey, for me. Wheelies. Come on, let's do some wheelies. Wow. Look at that. How long did it take you to learn how to do that? A couple months. Really? Yeah, because I always ride with people that can do it. That's impressive. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's cool. How long have you been riding bikes? Like five years now. Five years? Yeah. What do you love most about riding bikes? I can just get out the house and stuff, and it's like an exercise. Exercise, freedom, yeah, it's fun. and it's fun. Yeah. What's your name? Levi. Levi, nice to meet you. I'm Ryan. Nice to meet you. We're the Bike Brothers. You want to go with us all the way another 100 miles? Heck no. Heck no. I could. I mean, 
If my mom let me, I would. <laughs> but I'll have to stop the gas stations. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Maybe someday. When I get older. When you get older, yeah, man. When I was your age, I loved riding my bike all over the place, and I still ride my bike all over the place. Have you ever crashed doing that? Plenty of times. <laughs> Plenty of times. That is really impressive, my friend. I broke my arm. You broke your arm doing this? Yeah. Oh. I didn't want my lesson, though. <laughs> Keep on trying. Uh. Yeah, so Levi, yesterday we rode 70 miles, and on this bike, I carry all my camping gear, all my clothes, my toothbrush. What do you think about that? That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, yeah, huh? Yeah, because like, you can carry all that stuff on one bike. Yeah. Who needs a car, right? Yeah, well, you can just pedal. Yep. That's what I'm saying. Who needs a car when you can just pedal? My man, here we go, my man. What's up? Keep on riding. We are having a little Mexican picnic here in a parking lot. Look at this. What do we have here? Gigantic burritos. My hand for comparison. Yeah, look at that. How heavy is that burrito, you think? It's so heavy. It's, um, this is, weighs about uh, a 45 minute nap is how much this is gonna weigh. <laughs> this is seriously the biggest burrito I've ever had. And it's only half of the burrito. So many beans, so many frijoles, I love it. Oh. Yeah. What's up, Daryl? How we doing? We are doing good. We are powered by burrito and enthusiasm. That's right. Nothing better than burritos, frijoles, and enthusiasm. A little post-lunch high here. So besides the sound of my tires crunching gravel, I'm really loving the sound of my tires crunching through the leaves that have fallen down. What do you think of this, bud? It's so beautiful. I've never been here before, but holy crap. This is out of the movies. It is out of the movies. It really is. Wow. Hey buddy, I haven't talked to you much today. How are you doing? Pretty face. I've missed you. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing that like I was like, hey, I wonder what Deuce is doing, and then I was like, he's probably just missing me. <laughs> <laughs> You're experiencing something new in your this own is state. The flattest riding I've done in my state, that's for sure. It's also the only riding I've done in my state. <laughs> um, I think I've, I don't think I've ever ridden my bike in like any long distance whatsoever in this state ever. Yeah. Yeah. So well, it's I'm new. loving it. This is some. And and I've never ridden canals like this before, so it's just been a lot of fun. Really new new way to see this part of the state, which I have spent n next to no time in, especially like in this way where you get to like absorb and experience. So Jabba, there's a big mountain over there. Tell me about it. We are passing through what's called the Lehigh Gap. We're on the Lehigh River. Just west of us is the Lehigh Tunnel. And just in front of us is the Appalachian Trail. Right here, you cross that bridge. You go up that mountain right there. All right? Yeah. And it's a rocky, steep, difficult climb. How many times have you done the Appalachian Trail? In full? Twice. Yeah. Twice, twice, twice. I've done it once northbound, once southbound, once in spring, summer, fall, and once in winter and spring. Wow. Yeah. Cool. Does it bring back memories? I love it, man. I love the AT. I love this place. I love this state. Damn, I missed it. You know, sometimes when you ride these types of routes, rail trails or canal trails, you kind of see the same thing over and over. But this route has really varied in terrain and landscape. And I'm loving it. And now that the sun is out, it is a stunning evening. You know, the trees are reflecting off the canal over here like a mirror. It is a good one. We are in Jim Thorpe right now and I had no idea we were riding into such a quaint little village. This place is straight out of a fairy tale. We're climbing a thousand feet to our campsite. 
And I have a feeling it's gonna be beautiful up there. So this ride has been very, very flat until now. We are going up quite a steep road. It's not gonna end. <laughs> and it's not gonna end for quite a while. I am dripping in sweat, but it is beautiful. I'm guessing there's a lot of sunlight right behind my face there. Oh, what a stunning way to end the day. And we're earning it. How you doing, Jabba? I'm making it. Yeah, he is. He's all good. And at the top, we have our friend Lina, who we met at Ragbri, who lives here. She's bringing us pizza. We're gonna have a pizza party at the top. Lena, I can't believe what you did. Look at all these goodies. You brought us LaCroix. It's a Thanksgiving feast. It is a Thanksgiving feast. Pizza, Eddie, are you so happy? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so happy. So happy. Even brought us some Halloween candy. Oh, man. Luxurious, luxurious, thank you. As, as we should, always. <laughs> I'm ready for that. Uh-oh, what happened to Eddie? I got like halfway through sorting through my stuff and then I just started eating a bag of chips. <laughs> <laughs> and then you, here we are. And then you passed out. <laughs> That's it. I, I can't do anymore. <laughs> found Eddie dying of exposure at 2 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Connor, look at you, man. No, City boys fire. making fire. The sunset was stunning, and now we're getting a stunning sunrise. And the sunrises you have to earn, because waking up early sometimes can be difficult, especially when it's chilly, but it's always worth it to wake up early. And this is the magic of life that I love, you know, every day. Even if it's not a spectacular sunrise, it's still cool and you're happy that you woke up early because you get to see the start of the day and you get to hear the birds waking up and the sounds and the sky changing color. It's pretty awesome. It's Cozy Connor. What's up? How you doing, bud? It's so good. And this is your sleeping bag liner, right? Yes. Yeah. It's good. It got cold last night. It did get chilly. Yeah, I was chilly, so it this did. worked out well. I recommend this, mm -hmm. you know, Sea to Summit liner. Yeah, not yeah. sponsored. Not sponsored. Bought this with my own dollars. <laughs> Daryl, how's it going, buddy? Uh, it's going great. A little you, chilly, but I'm happy. You've had a smile on your face this whole trip. Yeah, of course. Look at this view. Are you kidding me with this? Oh yeah. my God, we'll be back. Yeah. Oh, I'm so happy. You want to know what just made this morning even better? Breakfast pizza. Cold, self-refrigerated breakfast pizza. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Ooh, the sun's coming up. Sun's coming up. Look at that beauty. Good morning, sun. Connor, are you capturing that with your fancy camera? I am. Uh, this is Olympus Stylus Epic, not sponsored. I would not recommend going out and buying one. You'll probably never use it. So, <laughs> but it's still fun to have. Yeah. yeah. And that's film, right? Not digital. Yeah. yeah, in fact, let's see. So this fella right here is Elliot. 
Hello. What's your role at Priority? Uh, I am the creative director, so anything that's graphic design, web related, the colors of the bikes, do the t-shirts for Doozer, you name it. I'm, yeah, that's I'm, right. I'm touching it, you know? You make those Doozer t-shirts. Oh yeah. And we've got some new ones coming, right? Oh, definitely. Big time. So keep your eyes peeled, so, because <laughs> they're, they're going to go quick. They're going to quick, go quick, so that's you got to right. get them. <laughs> like hotcakes. Exactly. Definitely, man. And you love riding bikes too, oh, I'm guessing? dude, it's the best. It's, it's amazing. I do it every day. I ride into the office. I mean, it's incredible incredible to be with a company that you know supports that lifestyle. I sure am glad I woke up early because the sun is gone, the clouds have engulfed us, which actually looks kind of cool, but it's it's chilly now, so we're packing up and we're going to head out. Today we're only going to go about 40 miles to the end of the trail and we're going to call it good. This has been so fun. This gentleman here, Daryl, your role is customer service at Priority, so if somebody calls Priority, Good chance they're talking to you. Absolutely. You uh, you call, you email, uh, you text, I'll be there to answer. And we're there seven days a week, 365. We never sleep. If you need us, I just say the word. <laughs> just say the word. Mohanid's got some health, health food. Yeah, a lot of healthy food. Look at all that good food, man. You're going to be ready for the day. I'm ready. Okay, good. <laughs> Kit and Will, how are we feeling? Awesome. Doing good. How are you, man? Doing great. Real quickly, you guys met through the love of bikes, right? We did. We met on Ragbri. No way. Yeah. That's so cool. <laughs> and you still, how do you, like, what's your favorite type of activity to do together? Drinking coffee and riding bikes. Yeah. <laughs> coffee, more bikes, absolutely. <laughs> That's cool. How, how many times throughout the year do you guys do a bike trip? Um, this is our third this year, but yeah. we do little overnighters too. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. I love that. And what's the key to a, a happy, loving, bicycle relationship <laughs> having separate tents I yes. <laughs> yeah as you learn uh, having separate tents um, but not making separate coffee you know oh. That's right. so good one. That was a good one, we man. have our own strengths and we pull together for the you know joy of the adventure good morning Java how are you reporting for duty <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you find some nature it was on Will's leg yeah. wow. it's, it's, it's trying to York. take a poop on me there's literally, a, it's literally pooping as we speak. Is it really? Yeah, look at it. <laughs> look at that big old turd. No, mate, no, it's part of its body. Oh, oh no, no, that was no, poop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, what do you say? You ready to roll? Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, ho, ho. No whammy! Thank you, Elliot. Thank you. This is so cool. Burning. Connor, my man, day three. I'm bummed that we're almost done, but man, it's been incredible. Yeah, man, it's been great. I think getting a chance to be out here with the team, and there's a lot of folks on this ride who I think we've just seen in the office for the last five, six, seven years, and the fact that we get to get out here as a team, and I feel really lucky doing this, and I feel, for a lack of a better term, blessed that we have the opportunity to do this, and we have the opportunity to do this together. I think we learn a lot about each other doing this. We get to know each other personally. I think it creates a lot of respect. I also think it kind of connects people deeper to the brand and what they're doing every day. And then certainly in the end connects us to our customers, which I know sounds cheesy sometimes, but it's, re it's, a, it's a real thing. And it's something where, you know, our team understands what people are going through and what they need. and. They can bring their own experiences to the table and it's fulfilling. And then when we're working, we're doing it for each other and with each other. So something like that is just invaluable, particularly now after doing this for 10 years. And 
chance to, to do something new after 10 years. I think it just shows a tremendous amount of growth for all of us. And also not to be cheesy, but you know, everything I've gotten to learn from Doozer about how to do this stuff and the fulfilling nature of putting in the effort to learn how to bike pack and learn how to get on the trail and learn how to work with other people out here is something that every time just brings so much joy. So just uh, not not super happy it's gonna be over. I'm happy to be off the bike and get a, a cold shower or sorry, a warm shower, <laughs> but uh, it's just been an amazing trip. Yeah, man. And for me, it's like I only get to see you once or twice a year. So it's fun to be able to connect with the people in real life. And look at these leaves. They're falling down like snow. It's dreamy. Like I said yesterday, it keeps on getting beautifuler and beautifuler. No, I don't think we could have timed up intentionally a better three day window, weather wise, autumn wise, just like it's been perfect. Like truly perfect. I'm, I'm from here and I'm like, wow, I hope you feel the same. And if you don't, we'll break your legs. <laughs> I feel the same. I am loving this. This is incredible. I don't want to go home. found in the most beautiful stretch of the path. The end. There this he is. is the end. This is the end. My only friend, the end. <laughs> and that's it, my friends. We rode arm in arm like a couple of bros into the sunset. And then later that night, we had a big pizza party at the Priority Warehouse. I didn't film any of it because I was too busy having fun and being present in the moment. Because sometimes when you take the camera out, it just becomes work and I didn't want to work anymore. <laughs> and the whole point of this trip really was to bond with my team at Priority. They're such wonderful people and I hope you enjoyed getting to know some of the employees that make this bike company so special. Thanks for watching this video, I really appreciate it. If you'd like to support my channel financially, please consider joining my Patreon. You will get early release videos, and those videos have zero annoying ads. You will also have direct access to chat with me about anything. I also do virtual burrito dinners on Zoom. We have a lot of fun over there on Patreon. But as always, if you don't have the ability to do that, no problem, my videos will always be free for you on YouTube and stay tuned for a total rundown of this Gemini gravel bike. It is sweet. Oh, and don't forget, get off your couch and get out there.